Hi, Patrick Russell, EA, with today's Caliente Topic. I get this question all the time. Pat, I just got married and I changed my name on my ID. Which last name do I use? And the answer is always, what's the name that the Social Security Administration has for you? Keep in mind that changing your name on your state ID is just the first step in the process of changing your identity throughout the entire system. For your tax return, and your refund to be processed and sent out on time, you're going to want to make sure that you fill out the SS5 application for name change with the Social Security Administration. Once that application is processed, the IRS, which basically piggybacks off of the Social Security Administration's database, will merge that information and will use that in order to make sure that they're processing the correct tax return for you. When it comes to electronic filing, keep in mind that your tax return has to pass a test. Tax return is compared with your first four letters of your last name and the last four digits of your social security number. Both of those have to be correct according to the IRS and the Social Security Administration for your tax return to be uh, processed completely and properly. Now there's several reasons why you might get your name changed. You might have gotten married, you might have gotten divorced, or there could be other depending on if you're part of the witness protection program for the federal government. Either way, you are looking at making sure that the information from both the Social Security Administration and the IRS are matching in order to make sure that your refund and your tax returns are processed correctly. This has been today's Caliente Topic. A quick way to get a quick answer is by using the comment box below. Until the next lesson.